What up? I'm Josh Paulson, and welcome to Your Story Now. So, along this scale, we have one to infinity, but here's the deal. Just using the scale is cool, but it's so conceptual, and we don't really have any way to pinpoint anything. Like, how do you say that a book is different from a movie? Do you say, oh, well, the book has um, is probably about 75% along the scale in a movie. I guess it's more like 25%. Like, how do you actually say that? So in order to combat this problem, we actually define four points along the range of interpretation scale. When there is only one potential interpretation, we call this determined. This means that there is only one potential way to take the story, or if you apply this to an individual sense, that sense. So for example, with photographs, there's only one way to take the visual. And then on the opposite end, when there are infinite potential interpretations, we have imagined. And so this is when literally it's in your imagination, it's up to you, everything is in your, in your zone. So already we have two points that we can define that is helpful. We could say that the medium is determined, the medium is imagined. We could say that the site for this medium is determined, the site for this medium is imagined. But we need a few more points to help us along. So we have described here. So described means that the things are very open to interpretation, but there's still some closure. This is how books are. They give us description, and we draw information from that description and assume the rest. We come up with how the characters look, how they sound, how fast time is going, and stuff like that. And then we also have one more point that's closer to determined. It's between determined and described, and that is represented. Represented means that you're given most of the information, but there's still some interpretation for you. This would be like in cartoons, where in the cartoons, and it depends on the cartoon, it is actually a representation of real life. It's not real life, but it's a representation. So you're given most of the information, but you imagine it the rest of the way for it to be real life. Now, there can be a debate here where are cartoons represented or are they determined and we are simply seeing their world? I would say that this partly depends on the cartoon, but this is a legitimate debate and you can argue it both ways. Regardless, the way that most artists create characters is that they start with representative and real life. So it's still helpful from a creative perspective, even if you decide in the end that your cartoon world is in fact determined. So we have determined, one potential interpretation, represented, some potential interpretations, described, many potential interpretations, and imagined, infinite potential interpretations. What this allows us to do is to define media against each other by saying that, for example, books are described and movies are determined, represented. You could say that in a, a movie that the visual, the sight is determined. You could say in a cartoon that the sight is represented. This allows us to compare and contrast different media very effectively. So defining these points allows us to compare and contrast different media much more easily. And we're going to do that in the next video.